Ben, tonight you didn't win the game, but do you feel a bit better about the team's performance today than last time? Oh, a little bit. Um, you know, the result always is disappointing when you lose. Um, but I saw some good things there, especially for the future of where we're going as a club, a young talent and, and the kids, Lockie, Jareem, especially in that first half, really outstanding. Um, you know, and we're at the stage now where we just can't find a way to put games away or um, control the game to a point where we win. Like, we're ahead there at the back end and um, we found a way to sort of throw it away. So um, we're learning um, and that's on me as a coach because, um, you know, that's what I need to be teaching these guys how to do. But in the long run, there's some, some green shoots there. Yeah, does today's game really sum up where the Tigers are at? Because you've got two 19-year-olds combining for a try brilliantly, yeah. highlight play. Yeah. Then you've got some inexperience coming up with big mistakes that prove really costly, right? Yeah, that's sort of been the story of our season, though. We've, um, I think I've said it a few times, we've shot ourselves in the foot. Um, you know, we're at the stage of the season now where we're just fighting to get through the games and, and try and win them like that at the end. And we just don't know how to do it. And, um, yeah, that's definitely going to be a learning curve for us. Um, yeah, but I thought the kids are really good today. Um, some of our senior players probably can be a little bit better. And, um, yeah, it's on, at the end of the day, it's on me more than anyone else. Is it fair to say that was Talon's probably his best performance in the top grade? Yeah, I just said to Talon, um, I thought you announced yourself the NRL today. Um, we knew he had that in him, and he showed in the first half in particular glimpses of what he can do. Um, he's still got a bit to work on, the kid, but he's a really good kid who wants to work hard, and he um, showed today what he can do. How is he? Oh, I just got the pop back here. Yeah, look, he's pretty good. He went back on, passed his HIA, um, and he looked pretty upbeat in there. Yeah, you talk performance. sorry. You talk about those things you need to improve on. I suppose you had those highs where you score the tries. I think there were three sets in a row where you dropped the ball in that yeah. next set. Is that one of those sort of learning stages you need to sort of address pretty quickly? Yeah, I think most teams, um, like you know, after you score points, the next set's important to complete it. And I think three times today we managed to not complete it. And it just puts pressure back on yourself. You now we've talked about pressure all season. Um, and again, we just that's what I talk, when I'm talking about knowing how to control the game and manage it, it's those moments where we're sort of throwing it away. What about Sione's try? Yeah, very good. Like when you have the brothers combining, you touched on it yesterday, but yeah. to actually have those two combined, how special is that? I'm happy for Sione. He's um, been working really hard to get his opportunity and um, he showed today what he can do. Um, the, boys did, like, the boys are disappointed in the sheds with the result, and, and we all are. Um, you know, but there's enough to show that where we're going in the future, um, you know, although it hurts now, it's, it's positive. And how frustrating is it when the attack hums like that? But I think it's about 180 points now in the past four games. Just defence and errors seem to be hurting you guys every week. Yeah, it hurts a lot. Um, obviously, we scored a lot of points today and enough points to win the game. And um, yeah, to not I guess, stop them and to keep handing them over the ball and um, ill discipline and allowing Cody and Jack Wadden to get into our half and um, just consistently throw shape at us. Uh, I wish we had defend better. Benji, just with the youth, I mean, I think there's five teenagers out there today. How do you, as a coach, not let that affect their confidence? Like, the run of losses that can turn, it takes experience, it takes time, it can take over 50 NRL games to yeah. feel good about yourself. Yeah, well, that's right. I mean, um, the, the positive for us is those guys, they don't, they have no fear about playing footy. Um, and they showed today what they can do, but it's finding that balance uh, for them. And, you know, we're all learning together. Like, this is obviously my first year as an NRL head coach, and um, it's been a very big learning experience for me. Um, yeah, and, and I think in the long run, it'll be better for everyone that we've sort of learned this way. Although it's been tough, um, I'm learning quite a lot about what needs to improve here and how we need to play. And, um, you know, and like I said, at the end of the day, the responsibility and the accountability comes back to me as the coach on results. And we haven't got those results, so the boys have been trying their heart out. You know, they have. They've been putting in every week, and, um, yeah, I just need to be better for them. Had a handful of games now back in the NRL. How are you finding it as more and more games are notched on your belt? Yeah, good. Um, I'm feeling good. Uh, body's been a bit sore um, over the past few weeks, but yeah, just trying to build new combos with, with my edges and um, as a senior player, trying to help I guess, teach some of the young, younger boys. And um, no, They've been good. They've been responding really, really well. And um, As Benji said, a few of us senior play, players need to um, I guess, look at our own games and uh, try and improve that and um, allow the younger boys to follow us. Are you expecting Harpy back next week? He'll be back. Thanks, what, man. What position? <laughs>